This is the first ride on this beautiful beast. And yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I am so excited, guys. I want to. I don't know what to say, man. This is just. This is amazing. We got the light shining bright. Ah. Uh, Man, thank God. Like, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Like, this is just, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. This is riding insane. And I want to personally introduce you guys to a new fam member of the family, of the crew, of the posse, of the, of the, of the, of the gang. Gang, gang. Same gang. Broly. We finally have our champion who's going to be joining joining us under my legs. Thickness everywhere. It's a beautiful day. This entire week is supposed to rain. I really don't know what to say. I just want to ride. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. My nose is running like crazy right now. Out of happiness though. Out of happiness. This bike smells so good. I don't know what to say. Like, uh, I really don't know what to say. I'm like, I'm speechless. <laughs> I never thought to myself that I would own a Ducati, I really didn't. But then they came out with the V4, completely redesigned. Looks like, this is the this is the bike that I just, I don't know if any other bike could beat, beat it in its looks. Like aesthetic wise, I don't know if any, if there's any other bike that beats it aesthetic wise. This one, not not the ones with the gills, not the new V4 with the gills and all that sorts of stuff, but the one that's just full streamlined. I'm just, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very excited. This is the first ride on this beautiful beast. And yeah. <laughs> she does feel a little warm. Okay, we're just learning the friction zone here. So, we need to change the levers for sure. All right, so, there it is. There it is, which is perfect. That's how I would like it. I like when it engages really, really quick. She's warm. Let's let these people go, and then we'll rev it. Sounds completely different. Feels completely different. Like, I don't want to go off and tell you guys a comparison of this versus the R6, or this versus uh, Nimbus S1000. I just want to enjoy it right now, get some rides in, feel amazing, have some fun, and uh, we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there. I love that back throw. It has a different kind of back throw. It still has it. It's not as um, it's not as glorious as the other ones. What you guys to remember, this is the first ride on Broly. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Somebody dropped some uh, stuff on the ground. Still a little jerky. The quick shifter is kind of jerky. It's a quick shifter and auto bipper. It's kind of jerky, but we're going to get used to it. It's a new bike. You got to break it in. So that's the reason we're not going to be going above 6,000 RPM. A lot of people believe that you don't have to do that. You can break the engine however you want. Riding it rough is better. 
But I've always gone with the booklet, whatever the recommendations are from the company, Ducati, and the manual. Oh my god. What other recommendations are from Ducati, we're gonna go with that. They say for the first 600 miles, there's no rev limiter. I can gun it like a mug. But, Broly, she's a monster, she's a beast. But we're still gonna take it easy for the first couple thousand, for the first 600 miles, because I gotta get used to it as well. And with BMW, they actually put a rev limiter on there. I feel like they do it for like liability issues, because you don't want the person going ham on it. But for us, it's actually good, because we want to take our time and learn the bike. The ins and outs things like that so no rush we're just gonna have some fun we're gonna ride around explore new areas I can already feel my right side of my body getting a little heated up because of the exhaust one one mile at a time man one mile at a time dude the car was waving at me so since I don't have my phone right here I can't check continuously if I'm recording so that's why this mirror is faced at me, so I can just check right now if I'm recording. We are recording. And I want to document everything. With Nimbus, we documented everything. With Broly, we're going to document everything. Our goal is not to lean split too much, not to do anything crazy. Just get out of here, enjoy the bike, learn the bike, have some fun. Go to some new areas, explore as you break this little baby in. <laughs> so exciting. The way we're gonna break it in is shift through gears, up and down and around, up revs, down revs. That's the way that I usually break my bikes in. So we're gonna take the same approach today. The Broly! These are the roads that I always go on. I went on this road when I first came here. Uh, in this area, I went on this, these roads for, for Kakarot. I went on these roads for Nimbus. Now we're going on these roads for Broly. It's just the reason I like this road is that I can openly talk to you guys. It's an open road, the traffic, things like that. Everything is manageable. So that's what I love about these places. Plus these are new tires. These are 260s. My other tires for Nimbus, 250s. So these are thick as hell. Now, but that's how we like it. That's how we like it. Oh, so you can downshift with the throttle open. So you gotta keep going through the gears, you gotta keep going through the revs. Oh, this feels so amazing. Thank God, man! Ah, ah! She rides so smooth. Yet like, you feel like you're, you're just, you feel like you're on a, like a freaking, like a freaking, ah! For the next 600 miles, man, you guys are gonna see so much accelerations, just bursts of acceleration. I just wish it had a back throw. A back throw would have been amazing. Let's leave it in third. We'll go up in revs, down in revs. But we first gotta see what that black car is. God, so much power, so much raw power, man. Oh, that was like a Maserati or something, Never mind. Remember, we don't wanna go too insane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grip the tank, push the pegs down, and then just slide. Slide, left and right. These are new tires as, as well. So remember with new tires, you gotta go, you gotta take it easy. Let's hit about six, let's drop off. Let's hit six, let's go up in gear, let's go up in gear. Let's gun it, let's drop it. Let's leg dangle. Let's bring it back up and let's torque it. There you go, one more, let's make it odd. Wait, does it veer to the one side? Wait, we gotta check something. Never mind, it goes straight. Nimbus, she veers to one side. Don't tell me to slow down, I'm going to speed limit, dog. But don't F with me, homie. Oh, that's a karma, those electric cars that keep trying to make a comeback. But no one gives enough about them. Until she's broken into, I'm not gonna act a fool. We wanna thank God that we have two more bees sitting at home, Nimbus and Kakarot. We can act fools on them. Not on Broly, not on the V4, until we have um, taken the appropriate measures of breaking this beast in. This is an expensive bike. I'm not gonna act a fool and just be an idiot on it for no damn reason. I 
I do think it has a, a back throw. I just can't tell. Can't really tell. I think I want to take that road. I just want to make sure that road goes where I think it goes because I think there's construction happening. So I want to make sure it's not the detour route because the detour route is a lot of gravel and all that sort of stuff. And we ain't about that left with our new tires, man. We have a little uh, throttle play there. There's a mod to fix that, but it's not that bad. The clutch is a lot smoother and s and nicer than Nimbus, but we're not comparing anything right now. We're not comparing anything. We're just out here having fun. I still gotta get used to the clutch. Well, yeah, throttle play kind of is a beep when you're going uh, at low revs. Oh, this is so easy to maneuver. 